Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be interesting because this is going to be uh, the traveling knife, which is uh, different this time. This one comes from uh, J.W. Greenbaum, who uh, supplied this knife. And this is going to have a whole lot of my opinion and my experiences. So I don't want you guys to take it for gospel. And it's okay if you disagree with whatever I'm going to tell you here, because, you know, hey, everybody has their own uh, opinions about stuff. Let me adjust this a little bit. I think we were a little bit out of square. And, you know, if you're a tradesman, being out of square is like a bad thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, what we're looking at, and first off, we're going to start with controversy because everybody pronounces the name different. They call it Knipex or Knipex or all these other things. I just call it Nipex, and that's because I use a knife and not a knife. And I know that they have proper ways to say it, but it's okay. Out here, I'm just calling it Nipex, and that's fine. Uh, <laughs> make your own video or disagree with me in the comments. It's okay. I don't mind. But uh, not so much about being uh, perfect on this. Because like I said, a lot of this is going to be my opinion and based off of my working skills, which are not as good as other people. And I'm certainly not an electrician, although I do work with uh, some low voltage uh, DC stuff. Anyways, everybody knows about the Nipex uh, water pump pliers. I mean, these, these things, I, I take these with me every day. I, I like working with these. These are, are really cool. They always get a lot of interest on uh, Instagram, these are the ones that are like the uh, seven inch uh, pair of, of them. I know a lot of people are liking the little mini five inch one, but this one works good for me in my day to day work whenever I need an adjustable uh, wrench. And I, I prefer this to a, a lot of other adjustable wrenches that I've had. So that's the number on it, the 8701180. And then of course, I had a pair of their uh, diagonal cutters too, which these are uh, very handy and I like them also. Here is the number on that one if you are looking for a pair of good uh, diagonal cutters. These will definitely do the job. But today we're talking, I'll let me get these set down. Today we are talking about their electrician's knife. And this is a European electrician's knife. So this is different. And so here's your numbers, the 16, 20, 50, made in Germany. Uh, this electrician's knife is certainly different than anything I've seen in a while. Now this is made in uh, Solingen. And if you recognize that little uh, way that they have the stylized G, uh, there are rumors that this is made in the uh, Otter Messer uh, plant. It has a little lanyard there, which also they have a uh, hook-in system uh, for Nipex uh, tools. So this would work for that if you're interested in that or if you use it. Has a really nice uh, handle, lots of room. This is not a finger choil. This is actually used to uh, cut and strip wire, which uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Let's talk about the knife part. This uh, little diamond shape, uh, Nipex, that's, they have a diamond uh, logo. And so that's why they put this here. Also, it's to you know grab onto to open the blade. You have a two inch sheep's foot blade here, which is not pointed. And you do have a two inch blade here. So that's just like any other uh, cutting knife. When I was using this uh, to strip wire and stuff like that the best way to do it because this is kind of counterintuitive to have this if you're right-handed to have this and then be trying to work towards you because you have this uh knife edge that's there so you don't use it when it's open and you notice this does have a half stop but you can kind of pinch down on the wire and uh you know basically cut the jacket and and that'll work now, this is made for uh, European electricians and stuff. I don't know how they, uh, you know, strip wire over there. This is a little bit different 
for me. I did not care for it as a wire stripper. Uh, the knife is fine. It's just like any other knife. But I thought we'd kind of go over some other tools that you might see like the heritage of this. And this is my electrician's tool from uh, Exolite, the TL29 style electrician's knife. So you have the uh, spear blade on this, which is not locking. And then you had your combination wire stripper and screwdrivers. And this does uh, lock into place with the uh, liner lock. And so this part down here is able to, you're able to shave uh, some wires and stuff like that. And then of course you have the flat head screwdriver. And these things, you know, are really good for, for what they are. And they're still in use today. Uh, a lot of people really enjoy using them, uh, myself included. I think these are awesome work knives. And I usually throw one in my bag from time to time just to go old school. And you can see size-wise, not quite as big of a handle, but you can see it, uh, you know, for, for what it is. Uh, the uh, reason that you don't see as many of these and why I think these are probably uh, not as useful in the day-to-day -day, uh, is I think a lot of the uh, TL29s and these got replaced by multi-tools like this uh, Gerber uh, suspension because you get, you know, basically... A decent uh, you know cutter here you got your pliers and stuff but then you also have your knife and your screwdriver and Phillips blades and files and you know there's all kinds of stuff you know some flat heads and and different stuff and of course a, a blade this one has a uh, partially serrated you know so there's like a whole lot of uh, you know and this one has the uh, scissors also but there's just so so many uh, multi-tools and stuff that have come out that just give you more in the package than this guy did. And this, you know, you got to remember this started out in the, you know, about 1915 or something was when the TL-29 was actually selected for uh, service use. And so it's, uh, you know, basically has a long history of, uh, you know, being there. And that was when, you know, a lot of electricity and stuff was just being developed. So there's not the multitude of uh, electrical standards and the different kinds of wires and cables. And like I said, mostly what I deal with is uh, low voltage DC stuff. Uh, I, I very rarely deal with any kind of AC except just to use a meter to see if AC is present or not. Uh, a more useful tool for the kind of stuff I do is actually like this uh, Milwaukee uh, set of pliers. And so this gives you your duck bill end for you know twisting wires or bending wires and stuff like that. You can see you have all your different uh, wire gauges for you know stranded and solid. So you can you know strip wires back uh, quickly and easily. You have your two uh, screw size uh, things if you need to cut a screw to size. Uh, these are spring loaded. Uh, excellent pair of uh, pliers. This is made by Milwaukee. I got these, uh, they were on sale at uh, Home Depot. So, you know, this is more useful. And of course, I forgot the, uh, the cutter. It's got the uh, cutter there. So if you need to cut stuff. Uh, this is basically, in my mind, an easier tool to uh, strip with, an easier tool to uh, cut with. Oh, and it has a crimper down here too. Uh, easier to crimp with, easier to bend wire, and it's safer to use than, you know, I think if you have this one, especially if you're trying to, uh, you know, basically cut wire and stuff, you still have, you know, this that can, you know, guillotine, because basically what you're doing is you're holding the knife, but you're, you're still, you know, squeezing to kind of keep, the pressure on the uh, on the wire and stuff so it doesn't cut through. You just want to cut through the jacket and then pull. So you're still having to kind of fiddle around with this. And 
I just kind of thought it might be a little dangerous. So for me, not knowing how to, you know, basically, I've never seen anybody use a tool like this. Maybe I'm all wrong on that. And if I am, that's fine. Correct me in the, in the comments below. But I just think that that's, uh, you know, for what I do, it's much easier to use something like the Milwaukee pliers. And we'll put this out here too, because like I said, you know, basically, you know, these guys came first. I think these guys have pretty much replaced them. Uh, tools like this are just, they're way safer to use. And I think they're better for the average guy who's on a job site. Uh, and like I said, you know, if you have a different opinion, please, uh, please let me know in the comments. But this has uh, been a fun knife to mess with. I've enjoyed using it. It works, you know, the knife portion of it works for just about everything. The only thing that is just the, uh, the little cutter area is the only thing that is kind of different for me. Although I guess if you smoke cigars, you could use it as a uh, cigar cutter. That'd probably work too. Although it might mash the, uh, the end for you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't smoke cigars, but that was one of the things I thought of. I was like, huh, that kind of looks like it could be a, a cigar cutter. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I appreciate you uh, watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, all of this is kind of my opinion and not, uh, not based in the gospel or whatever. And let me know what you guys do in your, in your trades. I know there's some tradesmen that watch the channel, you know? So, I mean, if you're an electrician, if you're, uh, carpenter, if you're, you know, doing anything with uh, low voltage stuff, uh, you know, give me your opinions and let me know what you think. It'd be interesting to know. Anyways, that'll be it for this one. Uh, this knife, I'm not sure exactly. I forgot who, I should have checked the email. I forget who gets it next, but this will be going out uh, this week. And I uh, am interested to see the other, the other, uh, reviews on it and get other people's uh, takes on it. So it's kind of a, kind of an interesting deal, but definitely, especially if, if you guys are from Europe, uh, if you have experience with this knife, uh, let me know. That'd be, that'd be interesting to know. Cause maybe you guys know something I don't, there's not a whole lot of info on it that I could find, but that's all I have for you on this one. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys.